Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. You know, Teofimo Lopez coming off an incredible victory. He's looking for, you know, step up in competition. I no longer consider Teofimo Lopez, you know, is just another guy. I think Teofimo Lopez at this point in his career is a contender. You know, it's early in his career, but I think he's shown enough that he is a contender. He looks good in all of his fights. He can he can fight with the best at this point. He is a contender. And there's a lot of talk about um, you know, Tia Fimo and, and Devin Haney. And I think that'll be a fantastic fight. I think Devin Haney has a skill set to where he's no longer, you know, a, a prospect that he's a contender just the same as Tia Fimo Lopez. And you know, a lot of people were requesting me dig into that fight. So I'm gonna break it down and I think that'll be a great fight. I think that Devin Devin Haney will make Tiafimo work and maybe even until the later rounds because, you know, if you can see this guy right here that he just came off this win against, he's not an elite level fighter, but he was able to take some shots early. He was a veteran and he was savvy. So he's going to make it difficult on Tiafimo Lopez to get the victory. But at the same time, when you look at it like this, Devin Haney will drag Tiafimo uh, Lopez into deeper waters, into later in the fight, maybe the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th round. But at some point, Tiafimo Lopez will wear down Devin Haney because Devin Haney shown a propensity of getting hit. Even though he has good defense, he will get caught at times in this fight that will wear him down. Tiafimo Lopez has shown that he has an ability to catch guys with shots they don't see to make adjustments. Tiafimo Lopez is a very special and, and a good fighter with a strong punch that lasts as the fight goes on. He's not gassing out. He's carrying his power into later rounds as you see the fight goes on. And Tiafimo Lopez, in my opinion, will stop Devin Haney later in the fight at this point in their respective careers that doesn't mean that Devin Haney still can not improve and become even a better fighter and grow because he's so young and the same with Tiafimo this guys could turn into a 50-50 fight down the road but these guys are still growing they're not finished products they're still great fighters at this point they're really good and um, I believe they're contenders respectfully but you know I, I don't think that they're finished growing I think that these guys still have a lot of room to grow and that doesn't mean that Devin Haney couldn't take the fight 12 rounds that doesn't mean Devin Haney couldn't beat Teofimo Lopez on the decision it's very well possible he's able to take some shots and and you know late because he was he won't get caught clean early to wear him down maybe that that could happen as well but I personally see Teofimo Lopez stopping Devin Haney at this point just with the simple fact that Teofimo Lopez punching power is so incredible and he tends to wear these guys down even if he doesn't get them out of there early because he carries his power as the fight goes on once again unbiased as always it's the ibfp please share like and you must absolutely subscribe